Hey you guys, welcome back to Life in Pink. A lot has been going on lately to say the least. I'm sure most of you are already aware of the war of words or back and forth between Martella and Melody this past weekend. Well, there's more. And if you aren't caught up on the goings on yet, watch my previous videos and it'll get you caught up. Okay, so let's talk about how Marceau and Tisha attempted to insert themselves in the whole drama and how Melody pulled their card and now they're on mute. All right, so in Martel's live, he tried to throw not having those friendships in Melody's face. Um, and Tisha saw fit to take to her Instagram and post um, to say, sometimes it takes fame or God blessing you with opportunities to realize this. You could be friends with people for years and it could take years to realize they never were your friends. While Marceau commented this under a blog post about Martel's rant. It says, this is what happens when your friends are in your inner circle. Let me just say this. You never gloat in another person's turmoil because karma will spin a block on you tenfold and do you worse than the person you were laughing and poking at. Now, of course, this all got back to Mel and she handled them accordingly. She says, if friends in your inner circle is sitting in front of me, smiling in my face, eating at my table, vacationing with me while paying for car repairs and Valentine's Day flowers for, and hanging with my then husband and one of his side chicks multiple times, then I don't need it. You think we forgot? I sure didn't. You should have sat this one out. Sit all the way down, sir, because the way the Scorpio is out right now, tuh. I mean, if all the years you were in the, in the inner circle didn't help, well, because ain't no way I'm kicking it with my married friends, side, side, nor woman. Nope. I, and I can call the wife and the kids, excuse me, and I call the wife and the kids family too. Nah, y'all big fake. And people be wondering why I removed myself. And ever since then, they've been back quiet as far as we know. Given all what Mel and Sam Marceau did to help Martel cheat and the lengths that he went through to help him keep things under wraps, heck yeah, Mel has every right to dismiss those quote-unquote friends. Marceau is wrong as heck for that, and Tisha better be paying attention instead of trying to throw shade Melody's way. Because the same way Marceau was helping Martel, I bet it's the same way Martel is allegedly helping Marceau keep his dirt under wraps. My guess, though, is Tisha already knows this, but in her mind, having a piece of a husband is better than not having one at all. Chill. Anyway, I digress. Oh, and please spare us the she tried to ruin my marriage narrative this season, Tisha, because given the tea Mel just spilled, your husband and you, by association, helped Martell ruin theirs. This had absolutely nothing to do with the Scots, but per usual, they had to add their two cents to anything Melody and Martell. They had obviously gotten comfortable with Melody keeping quiet, but she had to remind them. And everybody who she addressed had it coming because they've been talking about her for a while now without any comments from her. Um, you guys are familiar with that old saying, with friends like these who needs enemies? Well, that most definitely applies here. They all played in her face for way too long. All right, and Stormy also commented under that same post saying, I'm late, to which Marceau took it upon himself to comment under her comment and wrote, we all are. Now, I don't think Stormy was being messy here, but I can see how some would take it that way because why be in the comments under a post about my ex-husband dragging me talking about some I'm late? Mm -hmm. But like I said, I don't think she was being shady with that because I want to give the benefit of the doubt. Um, she could have meant she was late to all of the social media antics that were transpiring and needed to catch up. But again, she could have checked on her friend for that and to ask if she were okay. However, to be fair, for all we know, she did reach out to Melody. So eh, we'll soon see. Okay, you guys, that's all I have for this video. Give it a big thumbs up and do me a favor by sharing it. It helps me out in the algorithm a lot and I am trying to grow. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.